So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, Bertram. Take over YouTube. Um, please note, OCG is a fictional character. Any resemblance to persons alive, dead, or undead is purely coincidental. Shut up, Bertram. Okay, shutting up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Buckdotum Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is our live stream for Insert Game Title Here. So let me just begin by saying that this stream was made for children. I mean, not made for children. So, Mum and Dad, if you decide to show this to your children, maybe mute the audio. Now, Let's commence with the profanity-strewn livestream that contains references to sex, mutilation, and torture. Ha ha ha! I'm only kidding. There is no torture. Mm -mm. Right, let's do something meaningful during this uh, live stream. Let's try to educate you bastards, shall we? Lesson number one. How to succeed on YouTube without even trying. So I see you sitting at home. You've just downed your 25th beer of the day or you pulled your trousers back up because you're finished masturbating or whatever and you've got an idea in your head. You want to start a YouTube channel. Well, I'm here to tell you how you can be a success on YouTube without even trying. Number one, if you're a girl. That's all I need to say about that. Number two, if you're an attractive girl. That's all I have to say about that. Number three, if you're an attractive girl who just so happens to be an ex-porn star. That's all I'm going to say about that. Number four. If you're an attractive girl who just so happens to be a porn star who still does pornography from time to time, or has an OnlyFans, or is a cam girl when she's not streaming on YouTube, that's all I have to say about that. Number five. If you're a boy who used to do pornography and is fairly attractive. Number six. If you're a lovable idiot. And by lovable idiot, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean someone who might stream horror games and might react very, very over the top. But you might say to yourself, oh, I mean... They're annoying as all hell, but boy, are they cute. That kind of lovable idiot. Now, I promised myself I wasn't going to name any particular channels in this video, and I'm not going to. You can make up your own mind to who I'm talking about in each of these reasons on how you can be a success on YouTube. What number were we at? I've completely forgotten now. Oh, who cares? Let's abandon the numbers and just give the bloody reasons. You can also expect to succeed on YouTube if you stream garbage like Fortnite, Call of Duty Online, and if you happen to be particularly good at either of those garbage games. You can also expect to be a success if you, oh, I don't know, get caught masturbating in a live stream. Constantly beg for money in your live streams. 
Constantly tell people how much of a victim you are. Constantly bitch about how unengaged people are in your streams when you've gone to all the trouble of purchasing a particular game to play for their behalf. And yes, all those reasons I just said there did relate to one particular person. You can also expect to be a success if you agree what every other bloody YouTuber says. For example, a big video game comes out. Universally, it seems to be not liked very much. So every single one of the big popular YouTubers jumps on the bloody bandwagon and they all have to agree with each other. You're willing to do that, then you might just so be a success on YouTube. Oh, and I should have said at the start of this video, I am a gaming YouTuber. So most of these things I'm talking about relate to gaming YouTubers, but a few of them are probably applicable to, I don't know, people who review movies, that kind of malarkey. You can also expect to be a success on YouTube if you get a sponsorship from some bullshit company that sells energy powder or makeup or a VPN or makes its own custom-made sex dolls or whatever. You can also expect to be a success on YouTube if you have your tongue planted firmly up Bethesda's ass. Or from software's ass. Or CD Projekt Red's ass. Or Capcom's ass. You can also expect to be a success on YouTube if you talk constantly about PC fucking specifications when you're reviewing a particular game. Especially if you refer to crap like frame rate and anti-aliasing and... Ray tracing and all that other garbage. You can also expect to be a successful gaming YouTuber if you spend most of your video explaining the bloody mechanics as opposed to whether you actually enjoyed the game or not. You can also expect to be a successful YouTuber if you've been on the platform for longer than Tom fucking Holland has been alive. You can also expect to be a successful YouTuber if you list any of the following games as your quote-unquote favorite game of all time. Skyrim, Fallout 4, The Witcher 3, Silent Hill 2, Arkham City, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. I could say others, but... Those are the main ones that are coming to mind at the moment. Now this reason probably goes back to the first couple that I said, you know, the first couple of reasons that are probably going to get me the most amount of hate on this video. Well, we might as well continue this hate train. If you're a kind of dickhead who likes to shout into his webcam, you'll probably be successful on YouTube. If you're the kind of dickhead who not only shouts into his webcam, but has two other people that agree with your opinion, and you now all review movies together, uh, you're probably going to be probably one of the most successful people on YouTube. Reason number 125. If you're a girl. Yes, I know it was the very first reason I gave back at the start of the video, but it's a fucking fact. So, I've given you a lot of reasons for how you can be a successful YouTuber. Let me give you now a couple of other reasons on how you cannot be a successful YouTuber. You can be my channel, which is fronted by probably one of, if not the funniest people on YouTube. It has content coming out of the wazoo. There's a live stream every single bloody day. The channel actually exists to entertain you as opposed to just bombard you with facts about video games. You'll get an actual opinion on this channel that's not affected by whether the publisher invited you to their studios and made you play the game for three days. 
while they keep you sweet by throwing sushi and call girls at you every five minutes. If you have an actual niche that most other YouTube channels do not have. If you have something unique to offer. That way, you will not succeed on YouTube. So if you'll excuse me, ladies and gents, I'm going to get back to not succeeding on YouTube. Okay, Bertram. Number four on the list of all things that Japanese video games must contain. Number four is female characters with heaving bosoms. And you might be asking yourself, but why? Why must a Japanese video game feature such characters? And it's quite simple, for longevity of the game. You see, the average game may only take you a couple of hours to finish. But if you throw a couple of female characters into your game, particularly the ones with heaving bosoms, then lonely gamers, such as myself, whenever these characters appear on the screen, will pause the video game to indulge in a little self-love, if you catch my meaning. And that's a good thing for the longevity of the- oh shit. Um, are you playing this game on Vado CG? I have absolutely no desire to play online, Bertram. Frankly, I'd rather put my penis in a very sharp cheese grater. Uh, why OCG? Only homicidal maniacs. Or children. Or homicidal maniac children play games online, Bertram. Oh, what a dangerous world we live in. Quite. Just the other day, a child called me a see you next Tuesday. Oh, what an odd insult. Was he on drugs? Probably, but you don't understand. He called me a C U N. Oh, I get it. Well, you are. Ah, uh, what did you say? Um, nothing. Uh, does this game have zombies in it? No, Bertram. It has a thousand bloody ballet dancers doing the splits while singing The Winner Takes It All. You can see, can't you? So you should be able to tell if this game has zombies in it or not. Um, I was bitten on the pee-pee by a zombie once. I know I'm going to regret asking this question, but, um, how did a zombie bite you on the pee-pee, Bertram? Um, I think it was a zombie prostitute. Ah, well, that makes perfect sense. We've all been there. Oh, did a zombie prostitute bite your pee-pee? Uh, no. She stole my wallet and then flushed my trousers down the toilet. Oh, I see. Speaking of prostitutes, I visited a dominatrix once. Wasn't a lot of foreplay or intercourse. And can you believe she didn't even have any biscuits? Oh, bitch. I was a guest in her brothel. And I wasn't even offered so much as a glass of milk or a digestive. Well, ha, that will be the last time I'll be visiting her. Uh, because she was so inhospitable? Uh, no, because a grand piano crashed through her ceiling last week, killing her. Oh! I'm afraid the time has come, Bertram. It's time to tell the good people of Britain why I wear these sunglasses. And sadly, the truth is I wear these sunglasses because I am blind. Um, really? No, not really. The actual reason I wear these sunglasses is because I have lasers inside my eyes. And should I remove these sunglasses, 
you would be destroyed with said lasers. Um, really? No, not really. Splatterhouse, indeed. <laughs> I tell you, Bertram, if you want to see what an actual Splatterhouse looks like, you only have to come round to my parents' house at Christmas. I've never seen such a bloodbath. Year after year, inevitably some relative of mine gets drunk and another relative will take them out with a turkey baster. I don't think I've actually told you this, Bertram, but my great-great-great-great-great Aunt Delilah circumcised my great-great-great-great-great Uncle Humphrey with only a wooden spoon. Yes, remarkable. Who knew you could circumcise someone with a... Uh, oh. Um, I hope the actors in this game were paid a lot of money. Um, no, I don't think so. Some of the actors in this game are women, Bertram. Women don't get paid, do they? Well, not unless they are women of ill repute, shall we say. Um, please note, OCG, nor anyone at Obsessive Compulsive Gaming actually believes that statement to be true. <coughs> well, mostly. Don't get me wrong, Bertram. I love women. I've married four of the bloody things. I mean, people. People. But frankly, I don't trust them. Uh, why? Well, do you remember that time I holidayed on Coney Island? Oh, yeah. Isn't that when you were bit by a bearded lady? Yes, quite. Thank the Lord I hate children, because I won't be having any any time soon. Oh, yeah. She bit you on the, um, uh... Thingy. Don't remind me. Every time I urinate, the toilet looks like that bloody elevator from The Shining. Oh, yuck. Quite. So, dear viewer, if you feel sorry for me and my, uh, problems downstairs, feel free to send me a cash donation or just subscribe to the channel. Do it. Do it right now, or I'll send a panther to your house. And not a nice panther, but a feral, pissed-off panther. Did you know, Bertram, that my wife volunteered to be a human pincushion once? Uh, volunteered? Well, volunteered. Forced to do it. Whatever. Do you know it took five million pins to cover her incredibly large head? I won't tell you how many it took to cover her incredibly large stomach. <laughs> Let's just say it was a lot. You know, Bertram, that woman has a problem with... Uh, uh, box. Um, OCG. Yes... I was watching a film earlier, and someone said his brother was inbred. What does inbred mean? Well, Bartram, tell me, do you kiss your mother on the lips? Um, yes. Then you, sir, are inbred. Just like yeast. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry. That was a baking joke. Um, I don't get it. Well, because bread contains yeast, therefore yeast is in bread. Um. You know, in bread. Um. Never mind. You know, this is just what I need on a day like today. Gaming never fails to make me smile.
Um, would you like to tell me about it? Yes, Bertram. When I play video games, my mouth moves in this very uncomfortable shape. Uh, no, I meant, would you like to tell me about your day? Ah, I see. I knew that. <clears throat> well, firstly, my doctor cancelled my annual colon examination. You know how much I look forward to that. Mm, indeed. And then secondly, I managed to crash the car into some idiot's house. Um, what idiot's house? Ours. Oh. In my defense, I forgot to put on my glasses. Oh, that's the second time you've crashed in a month. Well, that last crash doesn't count. Um, you were driving the wrong way on a one-way street. Well, I saw no sign. Um, yes, because you forgot to put your glasses on that day as well. Oh, details, details. You're going to kill someone one day. Um, I mean... You're going to kill someone else one day. Well, let's let's just continue with the gaming before I suffer an aneurysm. Oh, wouldn't that be a shame? Ah, uh, what was that? Um, nothing. By Jove. Um, by Jove. I just found a big well tart in my underpants. Oh, can I have some? Ah, uh, no. Oh, um, OCG, did you know that I went to a water park once? Um, I say water park, but what I really mean is I took a bath once. Oh, fascinating. Um, are you being sarcastic? Good lord, no. You are being sarcastic. No, I'm not. Now you're being argumentative. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Uh, yes, you are. Let's just move on before people start throwing fruit at us and booing. Um, I got smacked in the face with a banana once. Oh, God, I hope that's not a euphemism. Uh, what's a euphemism? It's a country. Oh, really? No, not really. Um, what's the title of this game we're playing? I forget. Let's just call it Nonsense and Poppycock, Bertram. Nonsense and Poppycock. And you enjoy the word Poppycock. 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 Um, are the cocks male chickens? Ah, uh, yes, they are. Oh, I like cocks. Of course you do, Bertram. Of course you do. Uh, does this game have aliens in it? No, Bertram. It has a thousand rent boys doing handstands. Oh, really? No, not really. Pay bloody attention, and you'll know if this game has aliens in it or not. Um, speaking of aliens, what do you think is the better film? Alien or Aliens? Ah, uh, Event Horizon. Um, that's not one of the alien movies. No, it's not, Bertram. It's better. Oh, I actually quite enjoy Alien Resurrection. And that's why no one likes you, Bertram. Uh, that's not true. Your mother adores me. Ah, so she does. I forgot that bitch was still alive. Um, that's not very nice. 
Don't act so shocked, Bertram. You know that I hate my family. Um, I thought you liked your Uncle Roderick. What? The man who ate his own children and set fire to six churches in England? He's okay, I suppose. Did I ever tell you that he has an insect fetish? Uh, fetish? Is that the name for people who like killing insects? Ah, uh, no. It's the name for people who like having sex with insects. Uh, is that a thing? Oh, yes. It's very common. When I was 14, I walked in on my father having sex with a grasshopper. I've not been the same since. Oh, my! Remind me when we finish this, Bertram, to berate my wife about the quality of her pancakes. Um, what's wrong with her pancakes? The question is, what's right about her pancakes? Like her breasts, they are much too flat for my liking. Um, I saw a frog once with massive breasts. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Uh, yes, I did. No, you didn't. Uh, no, I didn't. I thought so. Though I have had a toad in the hole once. Bertram, I've told you before. I have no desire to hear about what you do and do not put up your backside. Uh, but... No, Bertram. I will hear no more about it. Uh, but... I like inserting foreign objects into my backside as much as the next chap. But you don't see me running around telling everyone about it, do you? Uh, but... No, Bertram, we are moving on. Oh, that reminds me. We need to play Battletoads again. Maybe we'll stream the whole bloody thing. Did you know, Bertram, that the original Battletoads is the reason I don't have grandparents anymore? Oh, were they so addicted to the game that they ignored you? And thus you decided to never speak to them again? Ah, uh, no. The original game frustrated me so much that I decided to murder the first two people I saw after smashing my controller against the wall. Now, sadly, my grandparents were babysitting me that day. Oh my! So you murdered them? Well, I wouldn't put it so graphically, Bertram. Let's just say I tore off their heads with my bare hands and then proceeded to shove said heads up their own backsides. Oh my! Yes, quite. Um, isn't there a remake of Battletoads on the Xbox? Dare you say that name in front of the PlayStation 5? Oh, no, look, now you made him cry. Apologize, Bertram. Uh, sorry? Good man. Don't you worry, PlayStation 5. Danny will play with your slots when this playthrough is done. Um, you're a very strange man. Oh, Ha <laughs> I know. Oh, by the way, did you record last night's EastEnders for me, Bertram? Uh, affirmative. I also recorded that naughty movie. Uh, what was it called again? I, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I do not and never will watch naughty movies. Ha. <laughs> But I do believe it was called Horny Horatio, 
the well-hung highwayman. <clears throat> Moving on. Did I ever tell you, Bertram, that my father was a serial killer? So, I actually grew up in a real murder house. Oh, that can't be pleasant. Quite. I found a decapitated head under my bed once. Oh my! No, not an eye. A head. A head. Um, I said, oh my. Ah. Well, there was body parts, blood and guts all over our kitchen. So cooking was an absolute nightmare. Gave a whole new meaning to the term finger food. Uh, Bertram, I have just noticed this, but, um, why are you not wearing any trousers? Or underpants, for that matter. Um, well, my pee-pee was warm. Uh, did you stand a little too close to the oven again? Um, yes. I see. Uh, I meant to ask you, OCG, but I was walking past the bathroom this morning, and I thought I could see you taking a selfie on the toilet. Well spotted, Bertram. I was indeed taking a picture of myself on the toilet. Um, that's weird. Not at all, Bertram. I document all of my trips to the toilet. Um, that's very weird. Well, I thought everyone did that. My father did that. For 95 years, he documented every single trip he made to the toilet. I have a whole shelf of photo albums containing nothing but pictures of father's excursions to the bathroom. They are fascinating. Um, I think we need to get you to a psychiatrist as soon as possible. There's nothing wrong with me, Bertram. Oh, by the way, tell that pink elephant over there to stop jumping up and down like that. It's most distracting. Oh no, he's lost it. Quite. <clears throat> Moving on, do you know, Bertram, that I consider myself to be something of a medium? Uh, what is a medium? Well, it means that you can speak to the dead. So, for example, your mother has just at this very moment told me to tell you that you smell of dick cheese. Uh, but my mother isn't dead. Oh, damn it. Uh, did I forget to tell you about that? Silly me. <laughs> uh, um, how did she die? Well, I forget the details. Something about a bear in heat, sexual assault, and your mother being found in 1,112 pieces. Oh no, mommy! You can mourn later, Bertram. We have a game to finish playing. Oh, I don't think I can. I'm struggling just to sit here. You're struggling to sit here? Is it because I insist that you sit in an electric chair? Uh, no. It's because I am struggling with my sexuality. Oh. Ah. Uh... Well, um, I don't really know what to say to that, Bertram. Ha ha! April Fools! What? April Fools? It's not April, you imbecile! Oh, oh yeah! So, um, what is this game about? Well, we play as a random teenage girl. Who, struggling to come to terms with the death of her brother, becomes a prostitute 
slash serial killer and goes on a rampage in a small mining town. Um, is that really what this game is about? Uh, more or less. Uh, more or less meaning... No, that is not what this game is about. Oh, so what is this game about? Well, if I told you that, there would be no point in playing the game. Oh, so what's this game about? I told you already, Bertram. If I reveal anything about the plot, there would be no point in playing the game. Oh, yeah, I understand. Um, so what's this game about? Ow! Oh! <laughs> hi-ho, hi-ho, it's home to work we go. Shut up, Bertram! Um, I said if you told me to shut up one more time, I would kill myself. Well, then you better get that razor ready, Bertram. Um, actually, I changed my mind. I thought you might. Can't bear the thought of leaving me, eh? Um, no, we just don't own any razors. Oh, I see. Well, I have a samurai sword if you'd like to use that. Uh, but that's sharp. Yes, usually helps if you're planning to kill yourself. Um, oh, all the same, I'll just leave it. Well, you let me know if you change your mind. Heaven knows I could do with some good news for a change. Hmm, yes. Uh what? Ha <laughs> ha, I jest, I jest. Mostly. <clears throat> um, is this a beat-em-up game? Uh, does it look like a bloody beat-em-up game, Bertram? Uh, I like beat-em-ups. I do it at least four times a day. No? You like beating off, Bertram. You do that at least four times a day. Oh, yeah, so I do. <clears throat> right, just go over here. Do, do, do. Sonic the Hedgehog, he's a little bastard. Sonic the Hedgehog, he is always plastered. Do, um, is that the actual lyrics? Sadly not, Bertram. Sega said they were not child-friendly enough for some such bollocks. Um, OCG, what's a wet dream? Ah, uh, well, it's when... Um, how do I put this without sounding crude? Um, aha! Do you remember that time you spilled a glass of milk in bed while you were dreaming, Bertram? Um, you mean that time you spilled a glass of milk in bed while you were dreaming? Whatever. Anyway, a wet dream is like that. Except the milk comes out of your penis. Oh! I must say, OCG, this game you're playing is very exciting. Put your trousers back on, Bertram. And get that rash looked at. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, that reminds me. I put a slice of carrot cake in the fridge last night for safekeeping. And when I checked this morning, it was gone. Do you know anything about that, Bertram? Uh, uh well, a homeless man came to the front door this morning and he asked if we had any food, so I... 
You gave him the carrot cake? Um, yes. Excellent, Bertram. Um, why are you so happy about that? Because, my accident-prone manservant, I had planned to send that very slice of cake to my in-laws. So, I added something extra to the ingredients. Um, and what was that? Uh, poison. But killing a homeless man is just as satisfying. Homeless people are damned annoying. They stink, too. Oh, no! You did a good thing today, Bertram. As a reward, I will wash my own backside from now on. Oh, yay! Uh, did I tell you, OCG, that the hunchback who lives down the street got a pet rabbit for Christmas? What? Someone gave that poor hunchback an actual vibrator? There's some sick people in the world. Uh, no. It's an actual pet rabbit. Ah, speaking of rabbits, I have never had one as a pet. But I did once hold a Playboy bunny in my basement for three weeks. Oh, yeah. Claudia, what happened to her? Well, I lost the key to the basement and she starved to death. Oh, I can see now why you've never had a rabbit as a pet. I never had a rabbit, no. But I did have a great white shark. Um, I never thought you looked like the type of chap who would like sharks. Well... Appearances can be deceptive, Bertram. Yes, as you learned when you brought your fourth wife home on your wedding night. I did wonder what that bulge was sticking out of her underpants. Or should I say sticking out of his underpants? Um, and the fact he was called Brian and had a beard didn't set off alarm bells? Well, you know that my eyesight is not what it once was. At least I let the chap sleep in the basement until he could find somewhere else to live. Um, and whatever became of your fourth wife slash husband? Uh, well, you see, I lost the key to the basement. Again. And he starved to death. Um, I'm noticing a pattern here. Um, did you know they're making a new series of Game of Thrones with a cast of skeletons? Uh, I did not. What's it going to be called? Um, Game of Bones. Oh, I thought that was the name of the pornographic version of Game of Thrones. Uh, no. I believe that's called Game of Boning. Ah, I see, I see. I think Game of Thrones would make an excellent RPG game. Uh, what does RPG mean again? Role-playing game. Oh, like when you make me dress up like a secretary and you dress up like a stern business owner. Who? Yes, yes, just like that. Remind me to tell you the meaning of the word secret when we're done with this walkthrough. Moving on. And oh, while I remember, dear viewers, if you want to see more walkthroughs, reviews, and gaming news presented in 43 FPS, then remember to subscribe to the channel. Um, what does FPS mean again? Frames per second. So, for example, films are usually presented in 24 FPS. 
are films. Like when you make me take off all of my clothes and cover myself with peanut butter while you film and... Yes, yes, just like that. <clears throat> Does the phrase, this'll be our little secret, mean nothing to you, Bertram? Uh, what does secret mean again? Oh, never mind. Oh, I wish stuff like this game happened in real life. Real life? What are you talking about, Bertram? Video games are real life. Oh, did you forget to take your medication again? Absolutely not. Now shut up so I can hear what this pink elephant in the corner is saying to me. Go on. Oh, I see. Is that so? Then what did he say? Oh, ha 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 ha! Most amusing. Oh dear. The pink elephant was just telling me about his school. Oh, what was your school like? It had more mutants than Xavier's school for the gifted. There was a lot of inbreeding in my town. Oh, I see. I personally could imagine you being the school bully. I am not a bully, Bertram. Now go and get me a coffee, you fetus-shaped abomination. Um, why are we playing this game, OCG? You said we could play the Bratz video game today. I, I said no such thing. Um, you said the Bratz video game was your favorite video game. I, I said no such thing. We'll play Bratz later. I promise. It's the viewer's fault, Bertram. They wouldn't understand my love for the brats and their passion for fashion. Oh, I see. Um, why are we whispering? The viewers can still hear us. Ah, uh, fuck. <clears throat> um, can I go to the toilet? Certainly. Uh, don't use my Marvel toilet paper, though. There's some sandpaper in the cabinet. Um, what's the difference between a remaster and a remake? What do you think I am, Bertram? Some kind of expert? Um, yes. Oh. Well, quite right. Uh, well, the difference between a remaster and a remake is... Um, I say... Is that Inigo Montoya I see in our garden? Um, stop trying to change the subject. It's okay to admit you don't know. Me? Don't know? Ha! I've forgotten more than you will ever know, my dim-witted manservant. Okay, so what's the difference between a remaster and a remake? Well, that's quite simple. It's, a uh, um, what? Didn't you hear me? Oh dear. Well, I guess you'll never know then. We have to move on. Yes. Did you know, Bertram, that I am one sixteenth psychic? No, Bertram. It's not time for dinner. Oh, how did you know I was thinking that? You see? Psychic. Oh, that's amazing. What else can you do? Well, I can tuck my Colonel Mustard between my legs, so I look like I have a lady garden. Would you like to see? Um, uh, no thank you, Buffalo Bill. Um, OCG, I found this adorable frog in the garden. You should kiss him and see if he turns into a prince. Oh no, I'm not falling for that. Again. I was hospitalized for six days the last time. The bloody nurses had the nerve to laugh at me. 
um, because they couldn't believe you would be so stupid as to kiss a frog? Uh, no, because I slipped on a bushel of grapes in the ward. Oh! And I actually had the audacity to sue the hospital. Uh, well, that doesn't surprise me. You're a chap some would describe as disingenuous. Didn't you ask a prostitute for a refund once? Oh, yes. Um, why? Well, the product was defective. Uh, and by defective you mean... Dead. I see. You do have some very odd fetishes, OCG. Why don't you tell us all about them? Well, naturally, I would love to explain them to you, but sadly, I don't have the time, as I have an appointment with my gynecologist in ten minutes, because my vagina has been giving me chip. Um, okay... Oh, I meant to tell you, Bertram. I saw your friend Simon the Simpleton this morning. He looked like utter ass. Oh, I'm not surprised. Simon hasn't been well recently. Oh dear. What happened? Well, um, he stuck his fingers in a wall socket and electrocuted himself. Well, that doesn't surprise me. He is a simpleton after all. I must say, OCG, the graphics in this game thing are really very good. Well, that's because they're not graphics, Bertram. Those are real people. Oh, uh, quick, OCG, call the police. There are strangers in the television again. Calm down, Bertram. They can't hurt you. Um, that's what you said when that bitch in the nightdress and long black hair started crawling out of the television. Yes, I did, but remember you killed that girl, Bertram. And I had to get rid of the body for you so you wouldn't go to prison and get used as a sex toy by the prisoners. Oh, yeah. But wasn't it you who killed her? And then I got rid of the body so you wouldn't go to prison and get used as a sex toy? Oh, whatever. Oh, um, I forgot to ask. How was the colon checkup this morning? Oh, well, I'll let you know when the chaps finish checking it, Bertram. Oh, I, um, didn't see you down there. Hello. Um, hello? Don't talk to that man when he's working, Bertram. Um, okay. Um, what was the name of that anime show you were watching this morning, OCG? Ah, twas Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, The Hinokami Chronicles. Um, what does Kimetsu no Yaiba mean? Ah, uh, it means... Don't feed the prostitute while it's hibernating. Um, really? Well, how the hell should I do? I don't speak anime. Did you know, Bertram, that I was once considered a slayer of demons? Um, uh, demons? Really? Oh, you know, demons, women, same thing. Uh... Didn't you tell me once that your sister was a demon? Uh, no. She was possessed by a demon. That is a difference. Uh, which is? Well, a lot of projectile vomit, a potty mouth, and a fetish for crucifixes. Oh! I tell you, Bertram, that Lady Demetresk is quite the catch. In fact, if she were a fish, you would need an incredibly large net. Yes. That woman is so tall, I think she could tickle King Kong's ball sack. Ha <laughs> ha. And another... Shit. Can I just say that you are looking particularly... 
particularly awful today, Bartram. Oh, thank you. I'm in a good mood. I booted up my Nintendo 3DS. You know, I forgot how good Mario 64 is. Don't say that too loud, Bertram. Just in case Miss PlayStation 5 hears you. Oh, is she the jealous type? Oh, very. I was on the Xbox yesterday, and she threw a DualShock 4 controller right at my bollocks. Oh, ouch. Yes, quite. So, let's keep it down with the Nintendo chat, eh? I will do. Thank you, Bertram. Here, have a biscuit. Um, but that's a dark biscuit. Yes, who's a good boy? You are. You are a good boy. Uh, I'm not eating that dark biscuit. Eat it. Eat it. Uh, no. Spoil sport. Fine, I'll eat the bloody thing. Oh, good lord, that tastes dreadful. Ha <laughs> ha. Shut up, Bertram, you bastard. Eh, uh, that's one pound you have to put in the swear jar. Uh, what? Eh, uh, you said bastard, so that means you have to put one pound in the swear jar. Well, you just said it. That's one pound you have to put in the swear jar. Oh, shit. Correction. Two pounds. Which, coincidentally, was how much I paid for a second-hand copy of Mario 64 back in the early 2000s. Ouch! Oh, what happened? Bloody PlayStation 5 threw a hammer at me. <gasps> it's possessed. Yes, yes, we can call an exorcist later. Let's finish this playthrough. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Bertram, I said we will deal with it later. Um, okay. Um, how about we play some Super Mario after this game? Bertram, you idiot. What did I tell you about mentioning? <gasps> oh, shit. Um, OCG, why is the PlayStation 5 holding a knife? Because we're in trouble. Run, Bertram, run! I heard another gaming YouTuber mention 3D platformers. What are 3D platformers, OCG? Well, games like... Mario 64, Jack and Daxter, or Crash Bandicoot are 3D platformers. Uh, what about Crash Bandicoot 2? Yes, that's another 3D platformer. Uh, what about Crash Bandicoot 3? Yes, that's another 3D platformer. Uh, what about... I'm going to save us some time here, Bertram. All of the Crash Bandicoot games are 3D platformers. Oh, even Crash Team Racing? Well, apart from that. Uh, what about Crash Tag Team Racing? Uh, yes, apart from that. Uh, what about... Bertram, if you don't shut up right now, I'm going to choke you with a pair of my dirty underpants. Thank you. Um, OCT, can I ask you a personal question? Why, certainly, Bertram. Uh, who took your virginity? Uh, that would be my Uncle Roderick. In fact, I'm still waiting to get it back. Haha. <laughs> um, how old were you? Uh, 43. Oh, wow. You were old. Yes, I was always a late bloomer, Bertram. Did you know I was breastfed until the age of 29? Oh, wow. 
Um, can we play Skyrim after this? Oh, absolutely not. Uh, why not? Because, like my wife, I don't like playing with bollocks. Oh, you're going to get death threats again. I've never received death threats. Oh, I meant to say... You're going to get death threats that I don't tell you about again. Dear Lord! Oh my! Who would want to send me death threats? Uh, apart from everyone? Uh, what did you say? Uh, nothing! You know, I'm considering giving you a pay rise, Bertram. I've been most impressed with how you've washed my underpants recently. Oh, is that true? Of course it is. Would I lie to you, Bertram? Um, well, you did tell me once that setting fire to myself would cure my cold. Well, I don't recall hearing you sneezing in the hospital, so I was right, was I not? Um, yes, but I suffered burns over 98% of my body. Oh, details, details. <laughs> um, what does FPS mean? First person shooter? Don't be ridiculous, Bertram. First person shooter. Ah, I've never heard anything so stupid. Uh, then what does it mean? It means four pornos, please. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Four pornos, please. I've never heard anything so stupid. Ah, uh, are you trying to be funny, Bertram? If you are, perhaps you would like to leave this place and join a circus. Uh, no thank you. Do you know, I was once buggered at a circus. Uh, what? No, it doesn't mean what you think it means, Bertram. Pick up your dictionary. Uh, we don't have a dictionary. Well then, pretend. Okay. Now look up the word buggered and read out what it says. Um, let me help you, Bertram. Buggered, British slang, to be seriously harmed or damaged. Oh. Understand? Oh, yes. So how were you damaged at a circus? A clown fingered me. Uh, what? A clown stuck his fingers in my eyes. I was fingered. Oh. Why? What do you think I meant? Uh, nothing. I don't know if I ever told you this, Bertram, my dear manservant, but I once filleted Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, you cut him up? Oh, <laughs> did I say filleted again? <laughs> my mistake. I meant filleted. Yes. Uh, please note, OCG is a fictional character. Any resemblance to persons alive, dead, or undead is purely coincidental. So, my psychiatrist has told me I need to engage more with you commoners. So, please tell me down below, what do you think of this game? Like it? Love it? Want to crawl into bed and make passionate love to it? Ah, hello there, you beautiful bastards. As you might know by now, I'm pretty infamous. I run my own little YouTube channel focused on gaming. So there's reviews, commentary, all manner of degradation. Delivered in my rich British accent. And it's bloody hilarious. I'd like to demand, I mean, ask you to go through my channel with a fine mustache comb. And if you like what you see and hear, then please consider subscribing. 
I deserve it. And my ego will thank you. No, seriously, dear viewers. My views and subscription rate is pathetic. The homeless chap down the street from here is doing better than I am. And he eats insects. Um, did you really need to put this in in the middle of a live stream? Yes. Yes, I did, Bertram. Now, if you'll excuse me, Bertram, I'm going to put something inside myself whilst we continue to play this game. Did you know, Bertram, that I met Mega Man myself recently? Yes, I mean, the chap's in his 40s now, you know, has a glass eye, walks with a bit of a limp. So I decided to follow him, see where he went. Luckily for me, he visited the local gentleman's toilets. And when he was urinating in that hole in the wall thing, I thought I would just have a little peek, see what Mega Man is packing. But as it turns out, Bertram, he's not so much a Mega Man. <laughs> uh, okay. For the last time, Bertram, you are not a monkey. Therefore, you are not allowed to throw poo at me. Okay? And another... Um, OCG, I think the toilet's blocked again. Be quiet, Bertram. Can't you see I'm trying to watch the news here? Oh! Is it interesting? I've never seen the news. Oh yes, very interesting, Bertram. It usually features some of my favorite things, including stories of violence and of sexual misconduct. In fact, instead of me telling you about it, why don't we sit down and watch the news together? Um, must we? I was going to go watch an episode of Peppa Pig. Yes, Bertram, we must. And who knows? We might grow as friends through uh, watching the news together. Oh, okay. Good evening. This is the news. I am news. The newsman. Tonight's top story. A man has been arrested in Dorset, suspected of being a Scooby-Doo villain. Brian Marveston had apparently been trying to scare the residents of a local nursing home while dressed up as a giant penis. Mr. Masterson was only unmasked when one of the residents' grandchildren caught him, in their words, going pee-pee. When asked to comment on his arrest, Mr. Masterson turned and said in a very proud voice that he would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kicks. In other news, a woman has been arrested under suspicion of breastfeeding her husband in the middle of a McDonald's restaurant. When asked to comment on why she was breastfeeding her husband, the woman, who shall be called Anonymous, simply... <laughs> How unprofessional, Bertram. I've never seen a newsman laugh at one of his own stories. Yes, indeed. Apologies for that, ladies and gentlemen. It might have sounded like I was laughing at the news story um, of the woman breastfeeding her husband, but it was, in fact, technical difficulties. So, when the woman was asked to comment on why she was breastfeeding her husband, she simply stated that McDonald's did not have any milk, and her husband is partial to a glass of milk. Now, let's hear about today's weather from the weatherman. Go ahead, weatherman. Right, we can turn this off now, Bertram. Um, don't you want to hear about the weather? Oh, no, 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 Bertram. 
let's just do what we're supposed to be doing and concentrating on this game. And um, isn't it amazing that somehow the game has been playing itself while we did this whole comedic skit bit? Yes, Bartram, remarkable. In fact, I suppose now's as good a time as any, but I've actually employed some help who is actually going to play the video games just whilst we go off on these kind of tangents where we do comical skits and the like. Oh, you haven't introduced us? Uh, well, that's because, um... Well, you see, the thing is, Bertram, in order for me to employ this individual, I had to somehow convince them that I was living completely alone. Um, so you didn't tell them about me? Uh, no, Bertram, sadly not. So when this new employee of mine uh, comes over to play the video games, you know, while we go off on our comedic skits, um, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, I would like for you to go into the closet and close the door. And not make a peep, not even stick your head out until said employee has left. Um, does this employee have a name? What are you talking about, Bertram? I've already told you their name. Um, have you? Yes, employee. Oh! You know, Bertram. Uh, yes, OCG? I have absolutely the worst job in the world. Uh, really, OCG? Yes, Bertram. Now let me tell you why. I spent all day playing video games. Every single second of every single minute of every single hour of the entire 24-hour day, I spend playing video games. Doesn't that sound like a bloody nightmare? Um, no, not really. Well, it is. Tis an absolute unmitigated nightmare. While all of my beloved viewers... You mean all four of them? Shut up, Bertram! Why all of my beloved viewers are out there working 9 to 5 or 10 to 6 to feed their families or buy a new car or go and see a prostitute or take their mistresses on holiday or buy 1,527 Krispy Kreme donuts, while you, the average person, the commoners, are out working, slaving away in probably some piece of shit office somewhere, or working as a bin man, or in McDonald's, or working in a bank, or working as a teacher in a school, while you're out there slaving away, giving your blood, sweat and tears, I am here playing video games. I know, I know, you want to feel sorry for me, but I tell you, don't, dear viewer. Do not give me your sympathy. I don't deserve it. You are out there doing... Awful work, like working in McDonald's, working in a bank, etc, etc. And I'm here playing video games all day long. And I'm here to tell you that it's an absolute unmitigated nightmare. If you think your job is bad, then I want you to just think of what I do all day long. Seven days a week, 365 days a year. I am playing bloody video games. Um, are you being sarcastic, OCG? No, Bertram, I am not being sarcastic. I'm telling you right here, right now, 
that I have the worst job in the world. Even people that clean toilets don't have as bad a job as I do. Even nurses who work in nursing homes and clean up after old geriatric people that shit themselves while watching daytime television. I'm telling you that even as bad as that job is, mine is a hundred, no, a thousand times worse. I have the worst job in the world. I sit here all day long playing video games while you're out there earning money for your bloody children and your bloody relatives and saving up to buy a new bloody card or whatever you're doing. I'm here playing video games, sitting on my fat backside in front of my rather large television or monitor if you're a PC gamer. So I'm sitting here in front of my large television monitor, if you're a PC gamer, doing absolutely nothing but playing video games, drinking gin, eating as much as I'm content to do so, from the relative safety of my home. And you're out there working. And I just want to tell you, dear viewer, that I have the worst... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I couldn't keep it going, Bertram. I, I, I couldn't hold it in. <laughs> um, I knew you were joking. Of course I'm joking, Bertram. Worst job in the world. I have the best job in the world. And all you stupid people out there, you all have the worst jobs in the world. You all want to be me. You all want to be in my shoes and do nothing but play video games all day. But you can't because you all have fucking children and fucking families and mistresses and holidays and all that bollocks. I get to sit here and think only of myself. Um, Andy? Yes, Sant? You. I occasionally think about you. Mostly how I'm going to throw you out of the window or how I'm going to poison your dinner or how I'm going to make your sleeping arrangements even more uncomfortable than they are. But yes, you do occasionally enter my mind, Bertram. Um, so what have we learned today, OCG? Ah, uh, that you all suck and I'm the best. Um, if you say so. Um, wait a minute. This game doesn't look like Crash Bandicoot. Well done, Bertram. Have a gold star and a complimentary pat on the head. This is indeed not Crash Bandicoot. Um, but you promised we could play Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I did no such thing. Um, yes you did, right before you got abducted by aliens, and then sued them for proding your backside in a very inappropriate way. Abducted? Aliens? Very? Bertram, could you have been dreaming? Oh yeah, I was dreaming. Well, that explains it. Um... Do you remember when you got cursed by that gypsy woman and your pee-pee fell off? Um, what was her name again? You know, the ugly bitch that cursed you. Uh, wasn't it your mother? Um, um, uh, yeah, it was. So, um, are we gonna play Crash Bandicoot now? In the name of Isaac Newton and his shriveled genitals. We discussed this already. I never said we would play Crash Bandicoot. Um, yes you did. Right before you were... Abducted by aliens. Yes, you dreamt that, Bertram. Remember? Um, 
Oh yeah! Um, is this game scary? Well, I would say it's more silly than scary. Oh, well, at least that begins with an S too. Ah, good job seeing the positive side, Bertram. In a way, I'm glad it's not scary. I don't really feel up to washing any more of your soiled boxer shorts. I resent that. I actually wear Y fronts. <sighs> Damn it. What the hell am I supposed to be doing in this game? Um, I went to hell once. No, you didn't. Uh, yes, I did. No, you didn't. Um, yes, I did. No, you did it. Um, yes, I did. Um, no, actually, um, I didn't. I thought so. If you were to make a video game, uh, what would you call it, OCT? Um, I would call my video game Jesus Christ in Nail Me to the Cross Again and See What You Get, Motherfucker. Oh, ha <laughs> Yes, yes, I am bloody hilarious. Hmm, offensive too. Very. I once gave Gordon the Goofy Gorilla an enormous wedgie and drew a penis on his head while he was sleeping. Oh, whatever happened to Gordon the Goofy Gorilla? Uh, well, I believe... He was shot by the hunter out of Jumanji. Oh no! Don't be too sad, Bertram. He was turned into a wonderful rug. Oh, that's not any better. Now people can walk all over him. People were always walking over Gordon. Especially that wife of his, Petra, the professional prostitute. Um... Speaking of professional prostitutes, uh, can we watch Star Wars later? What the hell does professional prostitutes have to do with Star Wars? Um, because, um, some professional prostitutes like Star Wars? Ah, you know, I've never been much of a Star Wars fan. But Star Horse? Well, that's much more my thing. Um, well, that's because you're a pervert. How have you known that I am the latest in a long line of perverts, Bertram? My father was a pervert. My grandfather was a pervert. My great-great-grandfather was a pervert. My great-great-great-grandfather? Um, was a pervert? Uh, no. Surprisingly, he was an artist. Oh. Yes. Apparently, he was quite shit. Mm. Did you know, Bertram, that I have a black belt in karate? I am a master of ninjutsu. I have studied Taekwondo. I have a degree in bitch slapping. But for some bizarre reason, I still punch like this. <gasps> oh. <Huh. clears throat> I'm like a geriatric with constipation. Look again, Bertram. Oh. E. You see what I'm saying? And don't even get me started. Bertram, did you know that somewhere in the world, at this exact moment, there is a woman touching herself and thinking about him. And also, in another corner of the world, Bertram, did you know that there is a man currently touching himself and thinking about him? 
Um, OCG, uh, didn't you have an affair with a Smurf once? Uh, no. You're getting confused about that time I had an illicit encounter with one of the Care Bears. Oh! I do enjoy those old children's shows. Oh, speaking of children, please remember, dear viewer, that this playthrough is most definitely not for children. So, don't let me catch any of you children out there watching this. Um, what if you can't tell that a child? Uh, do you mean if a child is wearing a false mustache? Um, yes. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Where did the child acquire the false mustache? Um, they bought it from a man selling false mustaches on the street. Ah, well, then provided the child is wearing a false mustache, they can watch this playthrough. Um, what if they're wearing a false beard? Hmm, ah, uh, I'll get back to you on that one. I must say, Bertram, this game is pretty as a picture. Um, what picture? Uh, most likely a picture of Ava Green. Um, with clothes on or off? Oh, definitely off. Oh yeah, that is a pretty picture. Um... You don't have a copy of that picture by any chance, do you? I have 1,246 pictures of Ava Green. And you can't have any of them. Oh, um, what would a video game based on us be called? Uh, Robin Crowley and Bertram Butler. Ass... To mouth. Haha. <laughs> no, actually, scratch that. Um, how about Ruben Crowley and Bertram Butler? Guilty as charged. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's bollocks, Bertram. Well, it's better than ass to mouth. Nothing is better than ass to mouth. Actually, Scratch that. Oh, I forgot to ask, but how many subscribers do we have now on here? Not bloody enough. I told you before, OCG. We need to expand our repertoire. Make videos on more niche subjects. For the last time, Bertram, I am not making videos of myself showering. Oh, but it would be hilarious. You have a very, um, odd body shape. I'm going to forget you just said that, Bertram. You know, Bertram, I procured this game for free. And I definitely did not shoplift it from my logo game. Nope, absolutely not. You know, I haven't seen value for money like that since I got 75% off at my local massage establishment. Um, isn't that a brothel? Yes, Bertram, it is. Why don't you say it a little louder? I don't think my wife quite heard you. Um, isn't that a brothel? I was being sarcastic, you crumbly biscuit. Oh. Um, so tell me, how did you get 75% off? Ah, well. My lady of choice had recently been in an unfortunate helicopter accident and was now simply a head on a stick. Oh. She had a mouth on her, I can tell you. <laughs> and uh, not much else it would seem. 
Doesn't your wife disagree with this little hobby of yours? Well, she doesn't know. My first wife found out, so I did the natural thing. And plotted to murder her. Um, and did you succeed? In killing her, I mean? Sadly, not. The stupid woman managed to flush herself down the toilet before I got the chance to put my plan into action. Um, uh, how? Uh, how does one flush themselves down the toilet? Well, it's more common than you might think, Bertram. Though usually just with small people. I heard Peter Dinklage had a close call while taking a toilet break on the set of Game of Thrones. Why aren't you laughing, Bertram? Uh, what are you doing? Um, I thought I saw a raisin on the ground, so I ate it. And? Um, it was actually one of Bertie's poopoos. Uh, remind me again. Who is Bertie? Uh, my mouse. I hope that's not a euphemism. Um, I don't know what that is. Well, it's a... You know what? Never mind. Oh, yes, Bertie. That thing you keep in your pockets. Uh, that thing is called Bertie. It's like Bertram. Uh, but it's not. Thank you for educating me on that, Bertram. Could you and your mouse please pay attention? How are you supposed to laugh at my jokes if you keep getting distracted with raisins? Um, it was a poo-poo? Uh, at least I think it was. You leave the thinking to me, Bertram. I'm the brains in this operation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm just off to stick my fingers in a wall socket. I've run out of coffee, and I need a little boost. Ow! That hurts. Ow! That hurts. Ow! That hurts. Um, you hurt him, dear viewer. He's the brains of the operation. <laughs> Shut up, Bertram, and telephone me an ambulance. I appear to have electrocuted myself. Um, what about the stream? Oh, oh yes, well, let's finish the stream first. Um, is this a horror game? This is as much a horror game as I am a relatively normal human being who most certainly does not keep his wife in a cage in the basement. Now, most horror games these days have you running away from a wanker in a Halloween costume. I had to play hide and seek with a wanker last Halloween. Uh, but you played that with me. Oh. Wanker indeed. Ha. Uh, well, at least you're a well-dressed wanker. Yes, tis true. Uh, tis true. So, to answer your question, Bertram, this is not a horror game. There is a distinct lack of blood. Oh, that's a shame. You do love blood. Yes, quite. Ever since that chap with the pointy teeth gave me that unattractive love bite on my neck. I have such a craving for the stuff. Oh no! You're turning into an umpire! I think you mean a vampire. Oh! And never mention anything related to sports in my presence again. The only thing I hate more than games that don't let you customize your genitals is sports. Um, noted. Oh, before we carry on with the playthrough, here's a message from our sponsor. Um, we have a sponsor? We do. 
I promised Edwin I'd let him say a few words. Um, Edwin? As in your perverted brother, Edwin? The man who holds the Guinness World Record for the longest sustained erection? 36 years and counting. Yes. So, without much further ado, may I present my brother, Edwin Wagster. Oh, <laughs> thank you, brother. I'll spank. Oh, I mean, thank you later. <laughs> so, dear viewer, I'm going to tell you my foolproof strategy to conquering any beat em off, I mean, beat em up game. <laughs> Are we ready? That's what she said. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> now, to conquer any beat em off, I mean, beat em up game. <laughs> All you have to do is treat your controller like a beautiful woman. Yes, hit random buttons and magic will happen. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, uh, Mustache, I've got a date with a juggler and I hear he has a lovely set of balls. Ho, 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 oh my, oh no, oh my. Ha, <laughs> ha, my brother Edwin, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he scares me. Oh, don't worry, Bertram. Just, uh, never turn your back on him and your rear will be safe. Um, what? Oh, ha, <laughs> ha, nothing, nothing. Oh. I forgot to tell you, Bertram, Edwin will be coming to stay with us for a while. Um, why? Oh, I don't know. Something about him being on the run or hiding or some other nonsense. I said he could sleep in your bed, Bertram. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, you know, that's quite enough of that. Um, why does your brother have a different surname than you? Ah, uh, well, you see, because Edwin took his wife's surname. What? He's married? Who the hell would marry him? Uh, well, he's not married in the conventional sense. You see... Edwin was the first man in history to marry his own scrotum. Um, his scrotum has a name? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, Wilhelmina Wagster. Willie, for short. Oh, I'm sorry I asked now. Oh, um, I meant to tell you, OCG, uh, but you offended me earlier when you said... Um, uh, something offensive about me. Oh, I'm sorry, Bertram. I'll tell you a joke to make you feel better. Um, no, there's really no need. I insist. <clears throat> so, what do you call a Terminator prostitute? Um, I don't know, OCG. What do you call a Terminator prostitute? I'll bear back. <laughs> um, I don't get it. You know, instead of I'll be back, it's I'll bear back. Um, you know, because prostitutes often offer bareback, which means you don't need protection. Um, protection? Uh, like a gun? No, you moron, like a cord. You know what? Never mind. Twas a very funny joke. Um, I was watching a documentary this morning, OCG, and apparently... The world is ruled over by lizard people. Is that true, OCG? 
That's correct, Bertram. That is correct. But, uh, let's just keep the fact that I just said that between us. I can't bear to get locked up in that asylum again. Oh, yes. You told me horror stories about that place. Oh, yes, yes. The food was nightmarish. Um, didn't you also say you were forced to perform fellatio? Good lord, no. No. I befriended a guard called Horatio. Oh, <laughs> oops, sorry. And I wasn't forced to perform fellatio. I did it willingly, in exchange for a bottle of gin. Oh, you dirty swine. No, not wine. Gin. Gin. G. I. N. Gin. Not wine. Gin. Nothing like wine. Not red wine. Not white wine. Just gin. Gin. Do we, do we, are, are you understanding me, Bertram? I am talking about gin. Bertram. You've fallen asleep again, haven't you? Bastard. Um, do you like retro-inspired platformer games, OCG? You know, uh, games like Shovel Knight and, um, Curse of the Moon? No. And let me tell you why, Bertram. <clears throat> so, here is OCG's guide to why all retro 8-bit platformers are absolute ass Or bollocks. Whichever you prefer. <clears throat> Number one, knockback. Enemies can knock you back and cause your character to fall into an instant death pit or spikes. Knockback can go to hell. Number two, bosses with seemingly infinite life bars. You have to beat on these bastards harder than an obsessive compulsive masturbator. The boss fights can go to hell. Number three. Opposite to the problem with the boss fights, often our playable character dies in only a few hits and is often as soft as I am. Watching the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. Oh, that's an erection joke. You're absolutely right, Bertram. Well done, you. So, playable characters that die in a few hits can go to hell. Number four. Sequences when you ride a hoverbike. Does anyone remember Battletoads? Need I say more? Hoverbike sequences can go to hell. Number five. My wife. Now this has nothing to do with video games. I just, I, I really hate my wife. My wife can go to hell. Number six, the stupid 80s Pac-Man level sound effects when you find health on a power pickup. Um, what sound effects? You know, ping, boing, Pika! Oh, I understand. Got so the ping. Sound effects can go to hell. Number seven. I don't have a number seven. Number eight. The same as number seven. Number nine. Enemies that fire projectiles at you constantly. Oh yeah, they annoy me. There was this one time 
uh, I was playing Ninja Gaiden and... Shut up, Bertram. <laughs> so, <clears throat> enemies that fire projectiles can go to hell. And finally, number 10, to throw a grenade, you have to press two bloody buttons. Usually up on the D-pad and another button. Not only is this annoying, but what if you only had one finger on your hand? You would be fucked. And that's why I hate retro-inspired platformer game. Uh, things. Does that answer your question, Bertram? Um, yes. Did you know, Bertram, that I first played this game when I was no taller than Peter Dinklage? Oh, wow. And how tall are you now? Can't you tell? You're looking at me, you idiot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up. Have you been watching Star Trek again? Um, no. Bertram! But I love it! I told you what happened to me when I attended that Star Trek convention in 1993, didn't I? Um, yes. I can't even look at a Klingon without having traumatic flashbacks. Um, remind me what he did again. Well, <clears throat> it was 1993. I was in attendance at a Star Trek convention in the great city of London. I brought a guest with me. Twas my favorite teddy bear. Um, what was he called? He was called It Rubs the Lotion on Its Skin. And did he have a surname? Yes, it was, or else it gets the hose again. But I just called him Bill for short. Anyway, long story short, I accidentally dropped Bill. And as I reached down to retrieve him, a bloody Klingon appeared from nowhere, trampled Bill, and then just walked away. Oh, bastards! Bill was in tatters, clinging to life. I attempted to administer CPR, but the damage was done. Bill died in my arms. Um, and that's why you hate Star Trek? Yes. I have never recovered from Bill's death. Um, I'm surprised your mother didn't buy you a new teddy bear. Uh, she did. That same day, in fact. Um, then what's the problem? Well, I never thought of it like that before. You're right, Bertram. Uh, does that mean I can watch Star Trek now? Absolutely not. Oh. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. It would appear that a vampire has just crawled into my room and bitten me, uh, somewhere out of sight. Now, while I attend to that, Bertram here will take over the stream and entertain you the only way he knows how. By talking bollocks. Um, okay, play the game. Um, oh. Uh, OCG, am I supposed to commentate? OCG, oh, he's in the toilet. Hmm. So, um, nice weather we've been having. Uh, no, not really, actually. So, I'm Bertram. Uh, but you already knew that. <laughs> um, I like singing, gaming, obviously. Uh, but I'm also fond of a long walk. Well, I used to be before I... Well, <laughs> you know. 
Do you think being set on fire would be painful? I mean, I've been electrocuted, uh, beaten, uh, fallen down the stairs, broken every bone in my body, being run over, being bitten by a badger, drowned, uh, suffocated, being asphyxiated, which is the same as suffocated, it just uh, sounds fancier. Uh, I've been thrown, mutilated, stabbed, shot, winded, assaulted, cut in half, cut into quarters, glued back together, tied up, hoisted, hung, hanged, strangled, mugged, glassed. But I've never been set on fire. So, um, do you think it's painful? Oh, <laughs> look, RCG is back. What are you talking about, you miserable pile of bones and bad fashion? Oh, thank God you're back. Here, take the bloody controller and play your game. You know, Bertram, I'm so glad modern RPGs are slowly starting to become more action-focused. Goodbye, turn-based battles. I'll miss you as much as I miss my Uncle Fredrickson. Oh, did he die? Oh, don't worry, Bertram. We won't be attending his funeral. He was a prick. Oh, I wish it was 2004. I was so much younger then. It was also the year I remember fondly as the year... I lost my virginity for the second time to a sadomasochist in a gorilla costume. <laughs> Twas a Halloween party. Oh, what did you dress up as that year? Your mother, which meant I had a blonde wig, wrote the word whore on my forehead, and wore the smallest pair of fake breasts known to man. Oh, you're cruel. Ha <laughs> ha. It took you this long to figure that out, Bertram. So I said to him, Look here, Governor. I in absolutely no way wish to have sex with your wife. For two reasons, actually. Number one, she's not incredibly attractive. Number two, the woman is a bloody zombie. Now, personally, sir, I don't know about you, but I prefer my women to have a little more meat on their bones. And do you know what he said to me then, Bertram? Just wait till you get a bloody load of this. He said... Uh, Bertram, what are you doing with that copy of Resident Evil 2? Uh, I was going to play it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the jokes around here, Bertram. Put that disc down before you cut your own throat with it or something. Oh, that only happened once. Now, forgive me if I sound distracted, dear viewer. I am currently spying on my wife as she takes a walk in the garden with the man that I believe to be her lover. Um, I think they're kissing. Be quiet, Bertram. If they hear you, the game is up. Um, sorry. What are you doing now? Um, eating a sandwich? <sighs> Fine. Do it quietly. I can't see bloody anything. Um, where are your glasses? You stood on them, remember? Oh, that's right. I don't know why I'm happy about that. Because you take pleasure in my pain, apparently. Wait, what's my wife doing now? Um, I think she's urinating. That woman has absolutely no pride. Keep your eyes peeled, Bertram. <gasps> Bertram, are you now urinating? Um, uh, I forgot to go before we left. 
What's wrong with you people? We are gentlemen. Gentlemen do not urinate outdoors. Damn it! Now I need to go. Forgive me, dear viewer. Um, wait. I think they're kissing now. Let me see. Let me see, you idiot. They're not kissing. Can't you see that machete? The champ has obviously stabbed her. Um, should we help her? Um, no. Let's not do that. You know, Bertram, I was abducted by aliens once. Yes, quite a few years ago now. And let me just say that the anal probing that everyone seems to have a problem with, it really wasn't that bad. And I'll tell you another thing. Oh, bugger me with a monument. Um, OCG? Yes, Bertram? Um, why are you dressed like that? Well, Bertram, I thought that since we're going to be talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles today, I thought that I would dress myself like a teenager. Why? Do you not approve of my attire? Um, uh, you look like someone's very uncool uncle. Shut up, Bertram! <clears throat> anyway, did I tell you about the story of the turtle and the hare, Bertram? Um, I don't think so. Well, you see, the turtle, my dear manservant, turned out to be a serial killer. So he cut up the hair, put parts of his body in the microwave, and uh, cooked him. Isn't that a lovely story, Bertram? Um, not really. Um, what are you doing? Well, isn't it obvious, Bertram? Can't you see that I have clearly died and I'm waiting for the Grim Reaper to come and take my soul to heaven? Um, really? No, not really, Bertram. We're still waiting for this bloody lighting technician to get here. When did you say he should arrive? He was supposed to be here six hours ago. Um, lighting technician? Yes, you know the one you were supposed to call today. Um, today? You did call the lighting technician, didn't you, Bertram? Um, of course. Uh, 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 just give me one minute. Bertram? Bertram, where are you going? Get back. I bet he didn't call the lighting technician. I bet that's exactly what's going on here. Why am I talking to myself? So, Bertram, you previously asked me in our last session, how does one spot a zombie? So, I've done a little bit of research just for your benefit, Bertram, and I have here three ways that you can conclusively identify if someone is a zombie or not. <clears throat> Number one. They will have a bad use of the English language. Now please, Bertram, do not confuse a zombie with a drunk Scottish person. I mean, I can see how it could be confusing. But they will often speak, uh, how can I demonstrate? They'll make lots of, oh, uh, noises. Now, would you like me to repeat that, Bertram? They'll make lots of, oh, uh, noises. Often combined with this gesture, or perhaps this gesture, or this gesture, maybe even this gesture. But the thing that will give away that it's a zombie will be the... Uh... Okay, number two. They will have awful personal hygiene. Yes, no doubt they will smell similar to... Something like the armpits of a fat Xbox fanboy. Or like that little bit of skin between your genitals and your anus. Yes. 
Number three, they will have a penchant for brains. And what that means, Bertram, is they like to eat brains. So you'll be perfectly safe should a zombie apocalypse ever befall us. So, they will make noises like, uh, they will have bad hygiene, and they like eating brains. So, I hope you took that all in, Bertram, because there'll be a test next, uh, you know, Bertram, I consider myself to be something of a psychic. Uh, a psycho? No, Bertram, not a psycho. A psychic. It means that I can read people's thoughts, predict the future, that kind of thing. So, for example, I know that in exactly three seconds, I am going to urinate in my underwear. Let's see. Three, two, one. And there we are. Psychic, just like I said. And another thing. Oh, shit. Do you remember Rayman, Bartram? Oh, I don't like Rayman. Uh, why? He stole my last chocolate bar. Bertram, have you been drinking the bleach again? Um... You know as well as I do that Rayman is not real. Therefore, he could not have stolen your last chocolate bar. Uh, but I saw him. It was the middle of the night, so I couldn't get a good look at him. But he was standing by the fridge. And he was completely naked. Ah, uh, that was me, Bertram. It was? Yes. Um, why were you naked? Well, you see, I often like to take raw meat from the fridge and rub it against my body. Um, I see. Have you been drinking the bleach again? Shut up, Bertram. The point is, Rayman is not real. He is a video game character. Ooh, that reminds me. Lara Croft is coming round later to clean the conservatory. Uh, please note, OCG is a fictional character. Any resemblance to persons alive, dead, or undead is purely coincidental. So, my psychiatrist has told me I need to engage more with you commoners. So, please tell me down below. What do you think of this game? Like it? Love it? Want to crawl into bed and make passionate love to it? Dear viewers, thank you for tolerating. I mean, loving this live stream. It's great to have each and every single one of you here to stroke my ego. Now, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button and then share this video. Go on, do it. Do it. No, don't go and get a coffee. Get back here. Yes, you. I can see you going to get a coffee in the middle of this live stream. Did I say you could go and get a coffee? No, I did not. Get back here. Right. Now hit the, hit the subscribe thing. Yes, there you go. Now like the video. Well done. Goat star for you. Right. Let's get back to the live stream, shall we? Oh my god! What the hell do you think you're doing? Um, I'm not doing anything. I'm not talking to you, Bertram. Talking to him. Or her. That's you there. You watching this stream. No, not you. The other one. The other one that's watching this stream. That's right, you. I'm talking to you. Don't think I can't see you. I might be concentrating on this game, but I can assure you I have cameras everywhere. So I can see what you're doing there. Your hand in your trousers. Get them out at once. Do it. No, not just one hand. Take both of them out. That's right. 
Good. Right, so now you just watch the stream and behave, okay? Um, I'm confused. Well, Bertram, it's quite simple. I just caught one of our viewers masturbating. Oh. Yes. Disgusting habits. Nope, don't put your hands back in. That's right, you pick up that soda or soft drink or whatever the hell you want to call it. You, you just use your hands to pick that up. Oh, I meant to tell you, Bertram, but my old fencing instructor, Stan, died this morning. Oh, poor Stan. Poor Stan? There was nothing poor about him. He had enough money to buy Wakanda and put a prostitute on every street corner. We don't mourn people who are more famous than we are, Bertram. Uh, what about people less famous than us? Oh no. If you're less famous than us, then you're definitely not worth our attention. Um, so who can we mourn? Each other, Bertram. And of course, when I say each other, I mean me. You can mourn me when I go, Bertram. Oh, I'll have a party when that happens. What was that? Uh, <laughs> nothing. I brought you two girls one cup. It's gross. You know, I recorded my own version of that back in 2007. But my version was called One Tosser, One Teacup. You don't say. I do say. You know, I'm so glad we're playing this and not that garbage I was playing yesterday. What the hell was it called again? Ah, uh, ah, ass to mouth or something. Anyway, I put off playing it for a very long time. And I wish i just played the bloody thing because I found it about as enjoyable as ramming a garden gnome into my urethra. But LCG, didn't Ask to Mouth or whatever it is called get amazing reviews? Well, viewer with the stupid voice, that game does indeed have amazing reviews, but those reviewers are lying to you. I, on the other hand, am not lying to you when I say that I would rather stick needles into my groin than play that bloody game again. The combat was too hard. The bloody boss fights were too hard. The lack of gratuitous lovemaking scenes did not make me hard. So... As to mouth was an experience I'd care not to repeat in this life or the next. Unless, of course, someone's asking me to do it for real. In that case, I would be like, Hell yes, I'll do that to you, attractive actor. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's move on. Right, let's get this game finished quickly. I have an appointment with my psychiatrist today, and he told me if I was late, he would murder my wife. Which, ordinarily, I wouldn't mind, but she promised to make me macaroni and cheese for dinner tonight. And as you know, or should know, I love macaroni and cheese. Um, do you ever think our streams have too much silly comedy in them? Silly comedy? I can't say I've ever thought about it. Um, shouldn't you just play the game and keep the comedy stuff to a minimum? Uh, but if I did that, wouldn't I have to cut you out of the streams? Uh, why? Because the only reason you exist is for comedy purposes. I mean, take your voice, for instance. It's ridiculous! No one actually talks like that. So clearly, you are here for comic relief. Uh, what about your voice? Well, what about it? Uh, is it not equally as ridiculous and annoying? I never said your voice was annoying. Oh. Bertram, do you think my voice is annoying? Uh, 
Maybe just a little. Oh, by the way, I watched one of those murder mystery movie things last night, Bertram. Oh, how was it? Uh, complicated. Frankly, it left me more dazed and confused than that time I saw a woman with three breasts, five ball sacks, and a chin larger than the Great Wall of China. I do enjoy a good murder mystery. You know, I was actually involved with a murder mystery myself once. Oh, really? Well, I was suspected of committing a murder, but it wasn't me. It turned out to be a midget in a bowler hat with a body odor problem. Oh, don't look now, Bertram. That chap from next door is looking through our window again. Uh, what chap from next door? You know, the one with the uh, lazy eye and the hunchback. Uh, Derek? No, the other one. The one that's even uglier than he is. Uh, Malcolm? No, the other one. I think they all live together. They're a trio of very ugly people. So who's the, who's the third member of that trio? Uh, Toby? Yes, Toby, that's it. Yes, I think he's looking through our window. I think he's looking for you, Bertram. Uh, why would he be looking for me? Well, because you are romantically entangled, are you not? Uh, well, not at this exact moment, we're not. No, I don't, I don't mean right now, because obviously we're streaming this game right now, but are you not usually attached by the, uh, by the penis? Uh, I mean, you know, attached in a romantic sense. Do you not usually hang out together? Uh, I guess so. Yes, so your boyfriend and boyfriend, no? Uh, well, I, I, I've never really thought of it that way. Well, maybe it's time that you do start thinking of it that way, Bertram. This could be your opportunity to fly the coop, so to speak. If you and this... What was his name again? Toby. If you and this Toby decide to get married or, God forbid, have children, you could leave this place and, uh, I'd be completely alone. I'd have no one. And that would make me very sad. No, actually, Bertram, I actually think you and to Toby should, uh, break up. I think you should break up right now. Go on over to that window and you tell that ugly mother thumper that, uh, j tell him you found someone else. Tell him I'm your boyfriend if you want. I mean, you don't have to. There's no obligation to tell him that. But, I mean, if you really want to, you can, you, I mean, you can tell him that. I mean, I don't really mind either way. I mean, you can do what you want. But, uh... Oh, that isn't Toby at the window. That's Malcolm. Oh. Oh, well. Never mind what I just said, then. Let's get on with the game. You know, I've been looking forward to playing this, Bertram. I bathed. I changed my underpants. Something I never do. I lit some candles. I opened a bottle of wine. Uh, a crate of wine. A crate of wine. All we need is some scantily clad prostitutes, and this will be a proper party. Uh, wouldn't they distract from the game, though? Oh, I never really thought of that. Yes, probably for the best that there's no prostitutes here. Right, I think it's time for a poem. <clears throat> Lady Demetresque, with the marvellous breasts. How I long to shag you where you rest. I will spill my milk upon your chest. As a lover, you're the best. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. It's not Shakespeare, I admit, but I think it sums up my feelings quite nicely. It was most, uh, romantic, sir. Thank you, Bertram. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Uh, where do you think Lady Demetresque buys her clothes? Never mind that, Bertram. 
I want to know where she buys her tampons. And what size? Do tampons come in very fucking large size? Uh, I don't know. Well, find out, damn it. What am I paying you for? Uh, you don't pay me. Oh, that's right. Ha ha ha. But still, I want to know, Bertram. I have to know. Oh, I'll see what I can do. You know, Bertram, I do love me a bit of hacking and slashing. Oh, is that why you have a I Heart Jack the Ripper t-shirt? It is indeed, Bertram. Oh, um, I meant to tell you, but when I last washed that t-shirt, it came out pink. <laughs> Don't kill me. Why would I kill you, Bertram? Pink just so happens to be my favorite color. Oh, really? No, not really. I am absolutely going to cut your bollocks off with a spoon when we finish this game. Oh, no. You always know I like a game when I have an erection for the duration of playing it. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, how long have you had this particular erection? Uh, ten hours and counting. Which either means I love this game, or there's something wrong with me. Oh, <laughs> there's plenty wrong with you. Shut up, Bertram. So, Bertram, this game is from... A series that you love? A series that I love? And you also loved this game? And I also loved this game? Uh, wait a minute. What are you doing, Bertram? Why are you reading from my scripts? Uh, well, I noticed that you didn't give me a lot to say outside of... Oh, my! Or, oh, so I thought I would give myself more to do. You want, uh, you want more to do? Get me a bloody coffee. What do you think I pay you for? Um, but you don't pay me. Shut up, Bertram. I pay you with sexual favors as well, you know. Just get me a coffee, right? If you'll excuse me, I'm off to call my fictional wife a myriad of dreadful names. Oh no, you're not getting off that easy. You'll finish this game even if it kills me. Oh, if only you would die, Bertram. Then I could inherit that collection of mannequin heads you have. Uh, no, those are my friends. Stop lying, Bertram. You don't have any friends. You have inanimate objects that you occasionally engage in one-sided conversation with. Uh, pot, kettle, black? Oh. Touché. Fine. <sighs> uh, forgive me, dear viewer, but we must get through this game quickly. <laughs> I'm currently being chased by a man in a gorilla costume through the London Underground. I'll explain later. <laughs> Uh-oh, monkey boy is gaining on me. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, oh, I'll just hide in this toilet. Ah, good morning, sir. Nice penis. Uh, sir, stop pointing your penis at me. Uh-oh, here comes King Kong. Uh, <laughs> well, this is awkward. Um, oh, uh, 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 tell me, monkey, uh, is it true that you and Tarzan are more than just friends? <laughs> here you go. Thank you, Bertram. What the hell is wrong with this coffee? Um, I put poison in it. I'm sick and tired of you treating me like shit. Oh. Okay then. Right, let's cut the cow shit. This game is amazing. It's the most fun I've had since Chun-Li offered me a special massage. Uh, special massage? 
That's code for suckle upon my kernel mustards. Oh my! Yes, oh my. Did you know, Bertram, that Chun-Li wears dentures? I did not. Yes, it was slightly awkward when they fell out. I've still got them. In a jar. In the bathroom. Oh my! Yes. <laughs> oh my. Though this game looks quite simple, uh, I can assure you, dear viewers, that this tale has more twists and turns than watching an M. Night Shyamalan movie whilst riding a roller coaster. And I've found myself welling up and full-blown crying on more than one occasion. So not only is it twisty like a roller coaster, it's also an emotional roller coaster. Ha <laughs> ha. So what else can I tell you about this game? Um ba -ba 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 Oh yes. Now as you can see graphically and musically, this game is beautiful. And for the idiots amongst you, Musically is a posh way of saying music. Oh, I knew that. No one cares, Bertram. Mm, now you know why I poisoned you. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> poisoned me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I suddenly feel quite unwell. Oh, good. Wait a bloody minute. Did you actually poison me, Bertram? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, dear. Um, whatever happened to Bubsy? You know, the bobcat from those old games like Bubsy 3D? Oh. Well, the last I heard, he was sentenced to be anally probed by aliens for eternity. Oh, my! Yes. Oh, my. Uh, you know, Bertram, the Mega Man games annoy me more than a prostitute with her hole sewn shut. Um, we weren't even talking about Mega Man. Oh, I know. I just wanted to make that joke. Oh! And for you fellow homosexuals out there, let me reword that joke so you feel included. <clears throat> the Mega Man games annoy me more than a male gigolo with his hole sewn shut. Oh, and speaking of homosexuals, did you know that Ricky Martin came out as a homosexual years ago, Bertram? Though, frankly, anyone who sings about women as much as he did is clearly taking it up the poop shoot in his spare time. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Remind me when we finish this stream, Bartram, to phone Ricky and ask him for his preference in lubricant. I will do. Um, why do you never play the Nintendo Switch, OCG? Because the Nintendo Switch is essentially a glorified doorstop at this point for me, Bertram. I only bought the bloody thing to play Bayonetta 2 and 3. Uh, but what about Zelda? Zelda can suck my Colonel Mustard. Breath of the Wild and that other garbage Zelda game are overlong boring pieces of dinosaur excrement. No, actually, not dinosaur excrement, because I would rather play with that than these boring Zelda games. What the hell was I talking about? Oh yes, don't play the Nintendo Switch. Let's show Nintendo how much we hate them. Uh, I love Nintendo. And that's why I hate you, Bertram. Well, that and you try to assault my grandmother in a touchy-feely kind of way last Christmas. Which is doubly sick considering the old bitch has been dead for years. 
Um, then why was she at the Christmas party? Because every party needs decorations, and I forgot to buy any, so I thought, why the hell not dig up Grandmother and drape her over the front door? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, please note, OCG is a fictional character. Any resemblance to persons alive, dead, or undead is purely coincidental. So, my psychiatrist has told me I need to engage more with you commoners. So, please tell me down below, what do you think of this game? Like it? Love it? Want to crawl into bed and make passionate love to it? So, ladies and gentlemen's toilets, thank you for watching my stream. Tis fabulous, isn't it? <laughs> and aren't I the most handsome man you've ever seen? I mean, I know you can't see me in this stream, but, uh, j but, oh, bollocks. And aren't I the funniest YouTuber you have ever come across? Uh, I beg your pardon. What? Speak up. Well, that's just rude. Are you hearing this, Bertram? Bertram. Wake up, Bertram. <sighs> Good help is so hard to find these days. You know, I think Bertram was a village idiot in a past life. Anyway... Thank you for watching this stream. Please feel free to continue to watch my stream and laugh at my jokes. All of my jokes. They're very amusing. <laughs> you know what really annoys me, Bertram? Mm? People who walk so slow in front of you when you're trying to get somewhere. I mean, it's just like, get out of my way. Walk as slow as you want, but don't you dare walk in front of me. Do you get what I'm saying, Bertram? Mm-hmm. I mean, I could go on, but we better just get on with this playthrough before Bertram is tempted to use the cattle prod on me. Oh, I didn't know we owned a cattle prod. Oh, yes, Bertram. We own a vast collection of weird and wonderful items. <sighs> God damn it, I like Got a bit of stress out of my teeth now. Mm. Where did that come from? Mm. No bloody idea of a bloody thing. Um, OCG, is that four copies of Final Fantasy VII Remake you have on the shelf now? Well, yes, Bertram. It was my game of the year 2020, after all. You know, I'm still shocked and horrified that it wasn't The Last of Us Part 2. Well, yes, but that was my second favorite game of 2020. But it did win my award for Most Arousing Scene in a Video Game 2020. Uh, and what scene was that? Joel's death scene, of course. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, Final Fantasy VII Remake is bloody amazing. Period. Uh, but you can't have a period. You're a man. And you're still naked. Well, yes. But it is very hot in here. Ugh. Ugh. Actually, I think we've got a fan over there. No, Bertram, the one next to that. Yes, that one. Mm-hmm. Right, bring it over here. Bring it over here. Obviously, I can't go and get it. I'm playing the bloody game, aren't I? Yep, just bring it here. Bring it here. Right, just put it there. No, not there. There. No, not there either. Put it there. 
Yes, that's it. There, very good, Bartram, very good. Ugh. when I left that bit of chocolate. <laughs> Wondering where that bloody thing got to. Ugh. Oh, it's melted. Hit it when that happens. Don't go down. So, what are you thinking about this game, OCG? Uh, well... Do you want to know what I think? Um, uh, no. Not really. No one cares what you think, Bartram. Uh, that's not true. Mila does. Mila. As in... Mila Jovovich. Uh-huh. How the hell do you know... You know what? Never mind, Bartram. Just... Just watch me play the bloody game, all right? Okay. <sighs> oh, my poor back. <sighs> oh, my poor leg. <laughs> Oh, my poor penis. <sighs> right. right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, Bertram, I can't remember exactly when this game came out. But I fondly remember it as the same year that I created a mask, then attempted to kidnap the opera singer Catherine Jenkins and take her to my secret lair beneath the Paris Opera House. <laughs> I mean, my mother's basement. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And, uh, how'd that attempt go? Not good, Bartram. Not good. Oh, that sucks. Yes. Yes, it does. I've had a bit of a crush on Catherine Jenkins for a while now. Uh, remind uh, me again, who is Catherine Jenkins? I'm not going to dignify that with response, Bertram. Okay, all right. <sighs> What are you laughing at? Oh, nothing, Bartram. <laughs> Just remembered a joke I came up with the other day. Uh, something about a rabbi and a... Uh, I'll, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. <laughs> it's funny, though. It's funny. It'll be worth the wait. Trust me. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it now. <laughs> I'm hilarious sometimes. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> that joke is good. I can't wait to tell you it, Bertram. I can't wait to tell you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I forgot what it is now. Uh, Sorry. Right. Now come back to me by the time I finish this game. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Pardon me. Bertram, what'd you do with my cough? Oh, never mind, never mind. It's there. I can see it. Ow! Bloody hot. I know Cobby's supposed to be hot, but... A smudge on the screen. No, it's a dead bug. Where the hell did that get on the screen? Wipe that off, Bertram. There, that dead bug. No, not that one. Wait a minute, is that another dead bug? Right, wipe that one off first. Right, now do the one over there. Good man. Right, now get out of the way. I can't see what's going on. No, oh, dear viewers, I, I highly recommend that you go and buy this game right now. Well, not right now, because you're watching my playthrough. But the second this is over, I recommend that you go and buy this game. Uh, but what about when the uh, playthrough's over if they need the toilet? Well, fine, they can watch the playthrough, use the toilet, then go and buy the game. Uh, what if they already own the game? Well, then they already know how good the game is. Uh, but what if they own the game, but haven't played it yet? Well, then they... G oh, shut up, Bertram. Honestly, what if they own the game and haven't played it yet? Who the hell does that? Who the hell goes out of their way to buy a game and doesn't play the bloody thing? <sighs> Honestly, never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. <clears throat> Buying a game and not playing it. <laughs> That's just stupid. That's what that is. <sighs> boy oh boy though Bertram, this game is more fun than putting the DualShock controller against my crotch when it vibrates. <laughs> Which just so happens to be a favourite hobby of mine. <clears throat> One of many hobbies, of course, I mean. Was that was doing this, you know, gaming, that kind of thing. <sighs> oh, no, I've got an itchy neck. God damn it. Ow. That really hurts. Where's that deep heat, Bertram? Where did we put the deep heat? We need some deep heat here. Pronto. I need some deep heatage. Mamma 
right, let me try and grab this without taking my eyes off the screen. There we go. Haha, <laughs> success. Oh shit, didn't realize I was so close to the microphone when I was doing that. Apologies, dear viewers. Apologies. I just did it again, didn't I? About him, I think we're gonna have to do something with that shelf over there. What shelf? You know, the one that's over there. The one that's got, uh, Mario, Luigi, that dickhead from Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Max Payne, Crash Bandicoot, that dickhead from Metal Gear Rising, some beautiful woman from. Tales of Arise or whatever. That one. Oh, nope, can't see that one. You know, it's the one that's also got the uh, Mortal Kombat. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Bertram. Let me concentrate here. Right. Yeah. You no, know, the one that's got the uh, Mortal Kombat chaps on it as well. What are they called? Scorpion. Sub Zero. Who does that bloody franchise, Bertram? Oh, probably older than us. Oh no, Bertram, it's definitely not older than us. We are old as shit. Old as shit. Well, anyway, we need to do something about that shelf. It's looking a bit cluttered for my liking. So, uh, you recommend this game, OCG? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, so we can, uh, piss off then? No, you can't piss off, Bertram. Playthrough isn't done. Oh. Honestly, piss off. Bertram, when was the last time you hoovered this floor? Eh, uh, last week. Why? Hmm. Looking a little bit grubby for my liking. I don't think I like walking on this floor. The mess it's in. Hmm. Maybe you should give it a quick hoover. No, not now. Not now, Bertram. I'll just make a racket. Do it when we're done. Bertram, if you're getting up, can you get me another coffee? That's a good fellow. That coffee's gone a bit lukewarm for my liking. Bit, uh, Luke Wilson for my liking. 
<laughs> Actually, that joke doesn't make any sense. Never mind. Never mind. No, <laughs> Bertram, when I was in the toilet this morning, I, I, I swore that I felt a hand pressing against my shoulder. Uh, maybe we have a ghost. Ghost? Don't be ridiculous. You don't think we do, do you? You know, I saw a ghost once. Oh. No, you didn't. I did. It was back in 1998. I had just finished Final Fantasy VII for the 100th time and... No one cares, Bertram. That's not true. Mila does. Mila... Uh, oh, not this again. Oh, you... Mila jumped me, honestly. Oh. 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 Um, why is it taking you so damn long to play this game, OCG? Well, it, uh, certainly had absolutely nothing to do with me thinking I played this game, and only noticing last night that I had, in fact, not played this game. Oh, only an idiot would do that. <laughs> yes, quite. Ha ha ha. Anyway... Bertram, have you seen those scissors I used to trim my beard? Uh, no? I mean, it's not like I'm gonna do it now, because I'm playing this, but, you know, it'd be good to know where they are, or when I need them. Just, uh, I went looking for them last week. Couldn't find them. Bastards. Who knows where the hell they've gone? Oh. Ow! Hurt when I got there! Oh, thank you, Bertram. Let's put the coffee down there. Mum, da 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 da. Bertram, you forgot to put coffee in this cup again. It's completely empty. There's, there's look, nothing in it. Absolutely nothing in this cup. Who the hell's this coffee for, the invisible man? Honestly. Dear, take the cup back. Put some coffee in it. Idiot. Honestly. Oh, reminds me, Bertram. Remind me the next time I go to the doctor. I need to get that lump on the bottom of my foot looked at. And no, before you say anything, it's most definitely not a Varuka. Who came up with that word? Varuka. I know I'm saying it rather exotically. You know, putting emphasis on the R. I do that with a lot of words. Roberto Rum Roger the Cabin Boy Wrist Action 
rubbing one out. Rooster. Repetitive. Rectangle. Right, I think I'm done now. Bertram, what's a good word that rhymes with fetus? Uh, why? I don't know, just my mind was wandering there while I'm playing this. Trying to come up with a poem. I need something that rhymes with the word fetus. Uh, pletus, no, that's not a real word. Um, metas? Meet us. The burglar escaped from the woman's fetus and saw his neighbor and said, Come meet us. No, that's garbage. <sighs> the burglar escaped from the woman's fetus. He needed to escape, he needed a tactic. So he found himself a spaceship and went intergalactic. <laughs> intergalactic. Intergalactic. You must like that word, intergalactic. You've used it a few times now. Uh, yes, yes. It's probably my second favorite word of all time. Uh, what's your favorite word? Bastard, of course. Ah, of course. I love it. Bastard. 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 <laughs> anyway. Do, do, do. see who's in the chat. Yes, I see you there. You're always in my chat, aren't you? Yes, you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Right, get your hands out of your pads. How dare you come into my stream to your hands and your pants. It's not on. Not on at all. No, CT, I've been thinking maybe we should start um, playing on a PC. Oh, Bertram, you know that playing on a PC causes me to develop an unsightly rash on my hands. Not too dissimilar to stigmata. Uh, that's strange. But true. Uh, really? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <coughs> Damn it, now my beard is itchy. Now, Bertram, 
I'm gonna go have McDonald's for dinner. Oh, yeah! Wait, you're not lying, are you? Of course not. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am lying. Oh! Come, Bertram. You know I prefer KFC. As I like to call it, Kufk. Remember that uh, television show? Years ago, Bertram. Phone jacket. <laughs> what a funny bastard he was. Can't say I remember it. Oh, you're missing out, Bertram. You are missing out. Phone jacket, yes. Maserati 3200, talk to me. <laughs> uh, who's the other one? Ah. Uh, Hello. Yes. I would like to buy Duft. Do you have Duft? I want to buy this. Do you have this? <laughs> what a funny fucker. Mm. You want to buy DVD? <laughs> uh, they don't make comedy like that anymore. Nope. No, they do not. They also don't make consoles like that anymore. <laughs> like my beloved PlayStation 4 and 5. The most attractive twins since Pamela Anderson's perfect breasts. <laughs> You're so strange. Shut up, Bertram. Uh, did you watch Baywatch as a child, OCG? As a child? I still watch it now. <laughs> What do you think I've got on in the background over there? Oh, I was wondering what that was. Yes. I'll watch an episode or two of that after this live stream before we go to bed. Oh, that reminds me of Bertram. New beds being delivered next Thursday. Not Tuesday. Thursday. You got that? Uh, so Tuesday? Not Tuesday, Bertram. Thursday. Two days after Tuesday. Thursday. So Friday? No. Thursday. You got that? Thursday. Okay. Thirsty? Nope, not right now, Bertram. Still got this coffee here. Uh, no, I was... Yes, I know what you were doing, Bertram. I just, uh, jumped at the opportunity to make a joke. Oh! Yes. So, uh, is this game hard? Ha! Huh. Ron bloody Jeremy has never been as hard as this game is. No, actually, I'm exaggerating. This game isn't all that hard. You just spot, Bertram. Uh, no. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I smelled something there. Ow! Itchy all of a sudden. God damn you, itch. Be gone! Get behind me, itch. Hmm. Ooh. 
wonder how much longer we got left of this game. Hmm. Have a look at the chat. How we doing? How we doing, chat? How are we on this lovely day? Don't be shy now. Yes, that includes you with your hands down your pants. But I told you to take them out. Masturbation's not good for your health, you know. Yes, why do you think he's so fucked up? Shut up, Bertram. I resent that. <sighs> oh, god damn it. Oh, that reminds me. I need a new PlayStation 5 controller, Bertram. Uh, why? What happened to the controller in your head? Well, you see, I threw it out the window in frustration yesterday and murdered the postman. <laughs> the controller, or should I say my spare controller, is currently in the custody of the local constabulary, so I need a new one. Right away, sir. I didn't mean you had to go out and get it right now. I'm just saying to remind me, you know, when we're out at the, uh, shops. Buying condoms. I mean, food. Buying lots of co Food. Lots of food. So we can have plenty of sa- uh, plenty of meals. Lots of food so we can have lots of meals. Yeah, Bertram, some of the sequences in this game are frustrating me more than that time I tried to thread your head through a needle. Oh, I forgot about that. That was a huge needle. Where did you say you got it again? Uh, car boot sale. Apparently, it used to belong to King Kong. Oh, you don't say. I do say. I do say. <clears throat> Wonder how he's getting on these days. Good old King Kong and his massive schlong. Someone should make a movie called that. King Kong and his massive schlong. Coming soon to a picture house near you. Actually, I don't think they call them picture houses anymore. Oh yes, that's right. The cinema. King Kong and his massive schlong, coming soon to a cinema near you. <laughs> I can see it now. King Kong on the poster, with his massive schlong. Maybe I'll make that movie one day. If this uh, YouTube thing doesn't go anywhere. Maybe I'll retire. Become a movie director. Make erotica starring primates. With massive schlongs. <laughs> <clears throat> Very unprofessional to laugh at your own jokes. Very unprofessional. That was a pretty good one, though. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. <laughs> Uh, erotica starring primates. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
Come on, get out of the bloody way. Uh, who are you talking to? That weird Spanish mage you decided to hire, Bertram. He keeps walking in front of the bloody television. Uh, what Spanish mage? You know, the one that you hired last week. Uh, no, she died on Friday. Oh. Oh. I see. Maybe she's a ghost then. Oh. Actually. You think I could finish my story now, OCG? What? What story? The one I was going to tell you earlier about the ghost? <sighs> Fine. But if it turns out the so-called ghost you met was nothing more than a drunken naked man wearing a bedsheet, then I'm not going to be happy. Uh, oh. Never mind then. Ha, ah, thought so. God, I'm not playing this game on the Xbox. Um, what exactly do you have against the Xbox? Oh, I never told you about the time I was molested by an Xbox One while standing in line at the local gaming boutique. Uh, no. Ah, I'll tell you about that one later. Bastard. He can molest me while I'm standing in the queue. I don't think so, sir. <laughs> no, Bertram, I don't like the Xbox. Probably just as well that we're going to be getting all their games now on my beloved PlayStation. <laughs> More games for me to review. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you review a lot of fucking video games. Uh, what did you say? You review a lot of video games. New video games, old video games, video games everyone's heard of, video games no one has heard of, video games you find in abandoned haunted brothels. Yes, yes, I... I do review a lot of video games. That's what makes me so amazing, Bertram. <laughs> oh, meant to tell you, Bertram. But, uh, last, uh, when was it? Wednesday? I had dinner with King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Uh, you're aware they've all been dead for centuries, right? Of course I am. What's your point? So... Were they all zombies, or hallucinations, or... You know what? Never mind. Just continue on with what you're doing, you crazy bastard. Haha, <laughs> thank you, Bertram. I think I will. Ooh. Ah! God damn it, this seat's uncomfortable. I need a new one. I want that one that's muddled after Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's what I want. I want that chair. Dear viewers, give me lots of money so I can buy that chair. Especially you with your hands and your pants. I want plenty of money from you. Filthy bastard. Oh, speaking of filthy bastards, you know, guess what, Bertram? I caught Dante snorting cocaine in the bathroom again. Uh, Dante? As in the star of 
Devil May Cry Dante? No. Dante as in the star of the reboot of Devil May Cry Dante? No. Dante Alighieri, the author of the famous poem? No, 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 no. Our neighbor Dante, you know, drug dealer, delinquent, never sends us a Christmas card. Oh, him. Yes. So I told him, next time I catch you sticking that white shit up your nose, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to think of something to do. To stop you putting that white shit up your nose. It'll probably cost you a lot of money. Money you could be giving to me and my channel. Hmm. Yes, that man's proof, Bertram. Demons are indeed real. I saw one in the toilet the other morning. Uh, I think that was a spider. Shut up, Bertram. It was a demon. I knew what I saw. If you say so. Yes. I do bloody say so. <sighs> to be continued. Annoying. I know.